Hello everybody, this is Matt Hardy, Program Director for Planning and Performance Management at AASHTO. And welcome to the Performance Management Now video series, a knowledge building forum sponsored by the AASHTO Transportation Performance Management Pooled Fund. Today is our first interview of the video series, where we are talking to transportation performance management leaders who will share with us their experience in implementing performance management and how it has impacted their organizations. We are here today with Tim Hankel, Assistant Commissioner for the Modal Planning and Program Management Division at the Minnesota DOT. The Committee on Performance-Based Management has a subcommittee on organizational management and they talk a lot about culture and how culture really affects the ability of an agency to implement various aspects of, of performance management. Uh, from an outsider looking in, it seems that MnDOT has a strong TPM culture that crosses over changes in, in leadership. How important has it been to build that culture of, of TPM within Minnesota DOT? The culture is critical. The culture has existed even at the infancy of performance management development in this organization. What's different today and what helps us to carry that culture through leadership changes, et cetera, is the fact that we've put in place formal policies and processes that help to overcome any cultural differences that can occur when you have a new leader in place mm -hmm. or staff that come in place that are new to the process that we have here at MnDOT. In developing your overall performance management program, what factors do you think help the agency foster such a strong TPM practice within the agency? It's pretty simple, early success. Early success came from value-added activities. The earliest success that we had at MnDOT was many years ago with snow and ice. When snow and ice took hold, that allowed us to move into some of the infrastructure areas like bridge and pavement. And through value-added activities, we continued to incrementally and opportunistically grow in our performance measurement development and our performance management. And one other question on the future, if there's one lesson that you learned in helping to build MnDOT's strong TPM program that you'd want to share with this next generation uh, charged with sustaining it, what would that be? It's evolution, not revolution. Incremental and opportunistic development of programs like transportation, uh, performance management take time. You can't expect these things to happen overnight. You do need to evolve that culture over time, and you do need to bring people along. We've been successful through those incremental successes, starting with snow and ice, and building our way to where we're um, looking at investment decisions for the infrastructure as well as the operations of the organization because it's been evolutionary, not revolutionary. All right. Thanks, Tim, for joining us today. And thank you for joining us on Performance Management Now. I'm Matt Hardy, Program Director for Planning and Performance Management at AASHTO. I look forward to seeing you and talking with you again. If you have any comments or questions, send me an email, mhardy at ashto.org. And if you want more resources on performance management, visit the AASHTO TPM portal at tpm-portal.com. Thank you.